Hello, Kreuzer. Uh, I'm Mena. Um, here I am to do a Glyn Vivian Art Gallery family session for you. Uh, not at the Glyn Vivian, uh, the beautiful gallery space, but here in my front room. Uh, so welcome to Mena's front room. So our theme is space, uh, inspired by space women dreams. So I would like to guide you uh, through some junk modelling. Um, using really simple materials to get hold of, hopefully materials that you have uh, there at home. Uh, space. It's possibly a brilliant time to be thinking about what's out there above us. Um, perhaps you're doing a bit of stargazing in the evenings. Um, perhaps thinking about uh, everything that's quite a bit bigger than we are. Um, so perhaps if you're all gathered round, if the family is all... Um, listening in uh, or perhaps a little selection of you um, we can make a stop so uh, I have two little ones of my own they're seven and four you might hear them clattering about in the background at some point they might even join us um, so we have a little selection of spacey sort of things here already um, just to kickstart our inspiration so they help me gather a couple of things and um, so we've got a few books so this space one's quite good, so we've had a little flick through, just have a little chat about space. So if you've got that, or perhaps if a neighbour can lend you, um, you can have a flick through some books. So anything that might uh, get you thinking about the planets, the stars, everything that is above us. Um, and we also have a, a favourite story book here, uh, Michael, this is, a, this is in Welsh this one, and Michael. So um, it's all about a really naughty little boy, actually. He's uh, not very great at school, but um, he designs and then builds his very own rocket to launch up into space. Um, so inspired by this, uh, my little ones and I were thinking a rocket would be a great thing to, um, to get junk modelling. So um, perhaps a little bit inspired by Michael and his antics. Uh, thank you so much to Tony Bradman and Tony Ross. Uh, we are going to um, junk model ourselves a rocket ship for the future. So a rocket ship dreamt up by us. So um, just to get going, you might need a few days worth of um, junk. Uh, in order to, to build um, various shapes of rocket base. Um, so I've been collecting, great thing to do in lockdown. So I've been collecting um, a, few, a few sort of bits and bobs here. So there's a box of things saved from the recycling bin. Um, but I'm just gonna point out a couple of things to recommend uh, for or against on the junk that you acquire. So um, you can use so many different types of card, but this thickness of card, which is generally this kind of cereal box grade, is absolutely going to be serving you the best because it's pretty nice and thin and any kind of scissors can get through it. If you are gathering bigger boxes and the more of the, the hardy corrugated cards like this one, um, you might well struggle to get through with with your normal scissors and uh, can be a little bit dangerous for smaller people. So you can um, you can obviously use this grade and help each other with this um, if you want a sturdier kind of space vessel. Um, but otherwise, stick with your nice thin um, cereal box card. Okay, and then we can also go with some plastic bottles, uh, rolls, kitchen roll or toilet toilet roll. We might have a few of these hanging around. Um, also plastic bottles like uh, honey bottle sort of shapes. Um, and of course the wonderful egg carton already been chopped into. And some nice kind of textured packaging is always good. So anything you see like this, we really don't like it because it's really not very environment safe, but we really like this for texture. So you can gather this kind of thing. Um, if you are stealing things from the cupboard, check with, obviously, the grown-up of the household. Um, because, yeah, my kids went uh, searching for cereal packets, and of course there's still cereal inside. So if you want to 
use these cereal boxes, just obviously check first and maybe put an elastic band or something around your cereal. Don't, don't get a, don't lose any chocolate crispy things to the floor. Okay, so once you've gathered um, around about this much, maybe a little bit less, let's just, that'll probably make two rockets to be fair, um, then we are good to go. And the other thing you're going to need, oops, the other things you're going to need to gather are um, plenty of sticky tapes. So I've got a pretty good collection here of different sticky tapes. Um, thick masking, medium masking, small masking, but any combination of these that you might have. Masking tape is just so brilliant on um, junk modelling, with the junk modelling stuff, and sticks fairly well to this medium grade card. And you can paint over the top of it because it's paper based. So if you have your masking tape, that's your best friend. Um, you can also use different thicknesses, whatever grade of um, normal cellar tape that you might have. Uh, gift wrapping tape. I think the eco one is also fine. Um, this tape is brilliant too. This is actually for um, for uh, this gum paper tape for the painters, but um, you can. You can use this for junk modelling really well. Double-sided tape. You really don't need all of these. Just any selection of these is great. Double-sided tape is good. Um, little people often need a bit of help with getting the backing off, but if you stick it on first and then you do a little bit of a pick, then they really enjoy to peel that off. Um, and then I have a plumbing tape here, which is um, a foil tape, which is amazing stuff. I really love it. Um, so if you have any of that banging around, that is also really fun to use for this, especially with that space theme. But if you don't have any of this in the garage, or if you're you're raiding your neighbour's garage or, or asking friends, um, then you can use Prit Stick, uh, any kind of glue, <laughs> with foil. So that also works. So you can use a foil-based tape or with glue. So that's pretty much all you need, apart from, of course, your scissors. And there's a bit of a selection of scissors to show you. And maybe you're going to want to use your glue gun. If you're going to use your glue gun, please ask for help. Um, and we're going to need some scissors here. So we've got some toddler scissors, just to show you. But they will, good old um, plastic toddler scissors, will cut through your cereal box card. And then we've got some stronger and longer scissors which are really good for obviously if you're doing longer, bigger shapes. So um, just go for it and gather your scissors, and then you're gonna need sticky tape and a hot glue gun, if you can get hold of one. 